Hello and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. In the last episode, we defeated uh, Golnan the Yuan. Th Blue. Oh, my camera. I always have to reset my camera. We uh, defeated Golnan the Yuan Ti in the Beggar's Nest, along with all the undead that was there. Um, I think we do end up needing to go back and. Nah, we're not gonna waste our time doing that. I don't think it's enough experience points. Um, because we do have a crit, we do have a missing brother quest that we were supposed to go turn in, but. Uh, yeah, we missed a couple of things, but that's okay. Uh, but our next clue is, is that we need to go into the Black Lake District to uh, investigate some strange goings on there. So let's go ahead and hop off in that direction and find out what's going on. Who's this guy? Hey there. Please, can you help me? I don't know what to do. Well, slow down and just tell me what's wrong. My name is Sendrin, and everything has gone wrong. This whole area is overrun, and those bastards in the Black Lake don't care. They've locked themselves away, abandoning the whole place. Well, isn't this the Black Lake? No, this ain't the Black Lake, Black Lake District. The Black Lake is up ahead, past the gate and the guard. The nobles barricaded themselves in just after the plague started. This area, this is where the servant community lives. Lived. We would work for the nobles all day and return here to our homes at night. I guess they thought it wasn't worth the risk trying to protect us from the plague, too. They left us to the plague thugs, and now everything is gone. Well, what happened here? After the wailing began, we got caught between the quarantine and the Black Lake barricades. We were at the mercy of the plague thugs. Some of them used to be friends, but the plague took their minds, drove them mad. They became like animals. Then Loksar showed up. What about Loksar? He's a big half-orc. Not sure where he came from. He showed up after the first few plague thugs started to go mad. Loksar looted in their wake. After a while, when the place was disrupted, Loksar just started killing people and taking whatever he wanted. I think he realized the guards don't care about us in here. I think I'm one of the last survivors. I've no reason to stay. He's killed my family, taken everything. I just want to know he's dead before I try to get to the city core. Uh, you couldn't give me... Uh, and what will I be paid to kill him? I, I have nothing. Nothing at all. All I can do is hope you will help me, please. Uh, I don't have time for this. Goodbye. I gotta be careful about my, my uh, the choices that I make. Where are you stealing? I gotta be careful about the choices that I make because this game does have an alignment system and I'm trying to remain evil because I want to continue doing Assassin. But I mean, I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna take Assassin. We'll see. This way. He's coming over here, trying to sneak up on me. I don't think so, sir. And some remains on him. Nice little fire agate. Run around with him being diseased. One of the I believe I heard Farewell. Alright, I'm going back. Just getting really unlucky with my companion getting the crap kicked out of him. I don't know why. Let's get over on this. Let's get over on this side so I can shoot at these guys from afar. Let's kill the dog because I don't. I'm he's the one who got my guy diseased in the first place. I can just rest for damage, but I don't have anything to take care of disease. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, no, no, come on. I didn't say move. Gold. All right, Loxar is gonna be in there. But let's find out what's in this chest before we go do that. Is it trapped? It is not, but it has a nice little ice dart in it. He's like the same level as me. Unreasonable. Ridiculous. Daylin, how about you uh, step up your game a little bit? Unreasonable. Clothes of the Minstrel, nice. Adamantine's worth some money. I don't remember if there's anything reasonable in here. Doesn't seem... Oh, there's an armoire here. Might be something nice. Who knows? Uh, spell of Restoration. That'll sell. Uh, but before we do that, let's rest before Dalen has another... Like, usually he's pretty... Usually he's pretty sturdy. I don't know why he's getting this... Like, every, this whole playthrough, he's been getting his butt handed to him. never had this much problem with him and his survivability. He just charges in. Yeah, he'll take some damage, but he doesn't just like drop in the first two or three hits, even on some, even on the harder bosses. Like, dude, come on, man. Need a little bit of resilience. A little bit of... Re uh, do you want to go after this guy here that's, uh, you know, on top of me? You're supposed to be my guard. guys has a note on him that we're going to need to give to Fenthic at some point. Uh, full wagon. It'd be nice if there was... Ooh. Studded leather armor plus one. Um, I imagine that's probably actually going to... Yeah. Because the, because the, so even though it reduced, so here's a th here, let me explain this to you for those of you who don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, each armor that you wear in this version has, unless it's clothing, each version of armor that you wear in this version in third edition has a maximum dexterity bonus limit on it. And for the studded, for the regular leather armor, it's plus it's a six. So I could go all the way up to six and still get a plus uh, uh, and still have this number added to my armor class um, studded leather armor only goes up to four um, but it has a slightly higher base armor class right so the the regular leather armor has a two armor class and then you can add up to six from your dexterity the, the studded leather armor has a base armor class of three but you can and you can add up to four from your armor class so the problem I had was is that I had studded leather armor on, but it limited my arm my my dexterity to four. But if I put my this back on, you see I have up to five for my dexterity. 
So when I put this on, my armor class didn't change because I gained one. I gained one from my dexterity, but I lost one from my studded leather armor. But because I'm putting the studded leather armor back on, now I'm getting a base armor class of three plus four from my dexterity plus one because it's magical. So that that actually increases my armor class slightly. So. Ideally, what I want to get to is, is I want to get to some kind of magical armor that allows me, that provides me with an armor class, a significant armor class bonus, but does not have a dexterity limitation on it, and I don't even remember what that's going to be. Now, let's quick save before we go in here. Hello. Stop right there. Uh, stop right where you are, citizen. Commoners are not allowed to enter the Black Lake District. I'm a member of the City Guard under Erebus Command. Huh. The City Guard has so many new recruits, I can't even keep up. I think I've heard of you, though. Anything I should know about the Black Lake District? Well, there's the whole situation with Mel Dannon. He Glad he isn't my problem. He's a strange one. Who's Mel Dannon? He's one of the noblemen, supposedly a wizard. Scary reputation. I uh, probably shouldn't say much more than that, though. Let's try to persuade him. Nah, sorry, but I'm not risking that sorcerer finding out I've been chatting about him. If you want to know more about it, you should talk to Formosa. You'll hear her screeching soon enough, I think, if you go near the district's main square. I wouldn't mind someone trying to rein her in myself. Anything else you needed to know? Uh, are, there any are there any places of interest in the Black Lake I should visit? You can always visit the zoo. It's run by some of the nobility. Um, all right, let me through the gate then. Keep your tunic on already. All right, so Formosa is over here. Let's go find out. Oh, I'm gonna rest and save. Who are you? One of the city guard, I suppose. What do you say? Don't you think Meldanin should be forced to stop his hoarding and give up his stores? It is, after all, the duty of the people to watch over their own. What say you? And who are you? My name is Formosa, daughter of a noble house. I may be shut in behind these walls along with the rest of the nobility, but that doesn't mean I don't think uh, I think we don't have a responsibility to the city. There are people starving out there, and I would help them if I had food to offer, but only Meldanin has it. And having his hoard taken and given to the sick is the very least that Meldanin should suffer. And who is this Meldanin? We don't you don't know Meldanin? He's a vicious and evil little man. He does whatever he pleases in Black Lake because he has two things, magic and power. He kidnaps people for his experiments and has all sorts of magical abominations in his estate. And all of the other nobles pretend not to notice. Well, I won't, and I am not... Well, I... Okay, well, I won't, and I'm not intimidated by him. His merchant house has been hoarding food for and goods for years in this district, and he should give it up whether he likes it or not. Um, and how do you know there's an actual hoard? You talk like that's a question. Meldanin has never denied that fact, and everyone in Black Lake knows it's true. He keeps a warehouse near here, locked up so tight with spells and wards, there's no hope of access without the proper key. Everyone's too frightened of Meldanin to do anything about it, though. It's, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh... Well, leave me out of it, I say. I'll leave you out of it. Everybody wants to be left out of it, it seems. Well, once the plague comes knocking at your doorstep, you won't want to be left out of it then. Bah, what's the point? What do you want with me, human than human creature? Did you come to mock me with the others? I'm investigating the plague, and I have some questions. I'm not here to answer questions, but if it's the plague you're interested in, then have you thought of investigating Meldanin? I've heard, that, I've heard about those creatures. It's entirely possible the sorcerer might have something to do with it. He collects all the oddest things and creates abominations. If you're interested in what's if you're interested in doing what's right, why don't you help me? You may be helping yourself at the same time. Uh, what do you have in mind? Uh, that depends. Are you averse to performing a task that some would consider underhanded? I have no problem with anything of that sort. <laughs> you must acquire Meldanin's key then. That allows him access to his hoard, and Meldanin himself must be killed, so no one need fear retribution. He lives in a walled mansion in the northeast corner of Black Lake. His gate is guarded well, and there are other wards, but you must but somehow you must gain entry. I do not expect you to do this without a reward. Bring me the key, and I will give you a magic necklace. For the Sorcerer's Silver Tooth, I offer 500 gold pieces. Yeah. That's all I can offer you. It's a fair price. We'll always try to do the persuasion. All right. So, 
we, we have to break into Meldanon's estate because that's where the that's where the thing we need is. So, fortunately for all of us, I don't have to waste a bunch of time going around to talk to people because I know who to talk to. Uh, come on, get off the terrain. Me and terrain. What is it with me and terrain? I don't get it. All right, Millie. Your business Give me your career. secrets. What is that boy? Make it snappy. I haven't got all day. Well, who are you? Most of the rich folk around these parts just call me the cleaning lady. Weren't always so. I always, uh, once I had me a pretty name to match me face. The city pays me a bit of coin to go around the district and keep it tidy. Uh, I also take some doing laundry from me neighbors. Uh, I thought only nobles lived in the Black Lake. Oh, I'm sure there's some, I'm sure some that would like, every, Oh, I'm sure there's some that like everybody to think that, but it weren't true. There's servants and poor Black Lake, uh, poor alike in here in Black Lake. Don't think we are a handful of ones that live here, none. If it weren't for them, we poor folk would be the first to feel the touch of the plague. So you've been in every house in the area? Well, not every house, silly boy, but close enough it makes no difference. Are there certain estates you don't go into? Oh my, certainly wouldn't catch me going into Meldanon's estate, take his laundry and all that. Mind you, there was a time. Ah, but I should not like to talk about such things. I'd be an old lady and best you leave me to me work now. Oh, go on. What were you going to say? Oh, come on. Uh, nay, nay. Best of me not to talk about the wizard, and I agree. It is no importance besides. Tell me about the wizard, woman, before you try cleaning without hands. <sighs> Threaten an old woman, would you? It is nothing but an old story. I was a pretty lass, and Meldanon the handsome man. His father didn't approve of me none, so Meldanon used to sneak me into his estate, he did. But that was long before Meldanon became a wizard and such, and no use for a poor woman uh, best left in the past. Well, if you snuck into the estate, perhaps the entrance still exists? Aye, that it does. Meldanon had a magic door put in to me very home. It would open for me at midnight, you see. I keep the door closed and shuttered now. Uh, no idea if it still opens. If you wish to use it, me home is on the north end of the district. Take me key, just don't make a mess. I don't really have anything worth stealing, so I don't think it, uh, so. I don't think I need to worry about you. Bye. All right, now we got the information that we needed. Her house is right here. Uh, it's this door over here. And here's the portal. So we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you would like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time and I will see you for the next one.